Some of Belclutha's most iconic features are one step closer to getting a facelift. At a meeting last week, the Clutha District Council endorsed the membership of two coordinating groups for key projects identified in the Council's Our Place community plans. The coordinating groups will meet to plan and come up with proposals for the Balclutha War Memorial Hall and Naish Park. Some of the scope already identified includes the provision for either a refurbishment or replacement of the Balclutha War Memorial Hall, improving its surrounds, including the nearby Charles Street Reserve, the riverbank and create linkages with walkways and cycleways. Kevin Barron has been endorsed as the leader for the Balclutha War Memorial Hall project, which aims to rejuvenate and investigate the possibility of creating a community hub. The scope of the community hub could potentially include an amalgamation of the South Otago Museum, the Eyesight Information Centre, a visitor attraction and even includes the possibility of relocating library services. As for Naish Park, the council endorsed Jared McPhee as the leader for the project. The scope for Naish Park includes the provision for connecting it to the Old Boys Athletic Park nearby, which may also be discontinued, the refurbishment of Naish Park's duck pond, and installing a possible water feature and making it a garden of national significance on par with the Dunedin Botanical Garden. The scope also includes the potential for extending the nearby camping ground and creating a new bike park. Clutha District Council Chief Executive Steve Hill says the coordinating groups will now work to establish its structures and start the next steps to get the projects off the ground. The groups want to make good progress and any easy wins for the projects will be a priority. There are existing operating budgets, however third party funding will be an important source. Clutha Mayor Brian Cadogan thanks and acknowledges all those who put their hands up to take part in this exciting new chapter. It will positively impact the Belclutha community well into the future, he says. I'm Samuel White for The South Today.